Hi everybody, Joe Fiducia here and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about tags in Windows 7. Tags is a new feature that allows you to organize and find your files very quickly. For example, as you can see in front of you, I have several files such as Word documents, Excel files, PowerPoints, and many more. And this list is relatively long, though in reality, the lists that we commonly work with go even longer than this. What I'd like to do is make these files much easier to get to in the future, so instead of relying on their name alone, I'm going to classify them using tags. Now, to get started with tags, one of the first things you'll want to do is make sure that you see the tags column. In order to do that, what you have to do is along the top where all these different headings are, you'll want to right click anywhere along there and look for an option that says tags. Now this will turn on an extra field that should stay there from this point forward. And anytime you need to see what tags you've applied, you can simply look in that field. Next thing you'll want to do is start adding the tags to your files. Now, this being Microsoft, of course, there's probably about six or seven different ways of doing this. I'm going to focus on one for you today, and that's using the properties panel down there along the bottom of the Windows screen. When you click on a single file, in your list, you usually see some of the properties for that file along the bottom. And as you can see, one of the properties that you'll uh, notice down there is something called tags. In order to add a tag to that file, it's a matter of simply clicking down there where it says tags and giving this a name. Now, for instance, maybe this has to do with a certain customer I have. Maybe that customer's name is Mary. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Mary and then simply click Save on the right-hand side. Now, in order to continue adding tags, I simply repeat the same process. For example, I can select this Excel file here, and maybe this particular file has to do with an invoice that I send out on a regular basis. So I'm going to go ahead and click down there in the properties where that says, again, Tags, and type in the name I'd like to give this called Invoicing. Once the name is created again, you'll want to click Save on the right-hand side. Now here's a few things that I think you'll like to know about creating tags in Windows. Number one, we don't have to do it one file at a time. Because Windows gives us the ability to highlight more than one file, we can thus tag more than one file. Now selecting multiple files, there's of course many ways to do that. One method I like to use is simply selecting the first file I'd like to tag, then hold down Control to select any other files I would like to add tags to. Once all those files are selected, I then go again down there to the Properties panel, add the tag that I wish to place for these files, and click Save. So this one here, I'm going to say Do Friday. Another nice thing to know is that files are not limited to just one tag. For example, one of the files that I selected, maybe this one here, also has to do with invoicing. So what I can do is select that individual file, come down to where it says Tags, and simply add another tag on top of the one I've already created. I'll simply type in Invoicing, and notice as soon as I start typing, I will start seeing a list that mirrors what I've already typed. This is great to help keep consistency and also speed up the time it takes to create tags in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on this checkbox for Invoicing. If I wanted to add a third tag, I could, but that's all I'm going to add for this file, so once again, I will click Save. Okay, so in the interest of time here, I've gone ahead and tagged several other files in my list for you. As you can see, there are many names now to the right-hand side, but here's the big win about tags at the end of the day. What tags do, like we mentioned in the beginning, is they allow you to find files very quickly. So what you can do now is, remember that new tags column we added? Well, go up there to where it says tags in their header area, and as soon as you hover the mouse over it, you'll see a little filter menu appear. You simply click on that filter to see a list of the tags you've created. So now if I would like to take a look at just the files that have to do with invoicing, I simply turn on invoicing, and that's it. I see all the files I've tagged with invoicing. If I want to see something else, I turn that one off, and I can turn on any other tag I wish to see. Notice there's no OK button, there's no reset button. It's a matter of simply checking off the tag or tags you would like to see at this present moment. And as soon as you're done, you turn off the checkboxes to return all of the results. Now, we all know that things work fantastic in a training environment, and the first time we try to use it, we might run into a roadblock. Here are just a few roadblocks that I've encountered that might help you out along the way. 
Number one, in order to use tags, you have to be in the Details view of Windows 7. In order to switch to Details view, you'll want to look on the top right-hand side of your screen. You'll see a little drop-down menu displaying all the different views, one of which is Details. If you're in the Details view, you'll be able to see tags. I believe most of the other views that are in this list will not display the Tags column. Secondly, you'll want to make sure that the file is a supported file type. For example, there are certain file types, such as this one here, that's a Windows Media file, that can't be tagged. Uh, other files, such as pictures, I believe, they can be tagged. So you'll find that tags will work for some things and not for others. And you'll usually know right away, because you'll either see the word tags somewhere down here, or you won't. If it doesn't appear, that likely means the file can't be tagged, or the file has been protected in some way, and thus needs to be unprotected if you'd like to tag it. The bottom line with tags, they are a phenomenal feature for anyone that might have a long list of files that are simply too difficult to find. Label any major file you'd like with a tag, and you'll be able to find it again very quickly in the future. Thank you for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon.